na me fa ma wo erati aye yi be na me fa ma wo ase ja be na me fa ma wo erati aye yi be na me fa ma wo me dia me se me ti ra se Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. Good morning, good morning, good morning, cherished viewers of Pega TV. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of Glory. The one who died and on the third day arose triumphantly. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Today is a beautiful day, a day that the Lord himself has made. We have entered into the third month, which is a meant to have an encounter with the supernatural. March is a month to march forward. March is a month to take over what belongs to you. The month of March is a month for you to make progress in life, for you to move from where you are to a higher ground. Say amen. Amen. The month of March is a month that God himself is going to transform the lives of so many. And in fact, it has begun already. And so yesterday, which was Sunday. In fact, we had a very awesome encounter, a life-changing encounter with the God of my father, His Excellency Prophet Dr. Sifa Kwame Pega Tamakro, the God of Pega. It was so amazing. It was so wonderful. The atmosphere was something else. Mm, the word was something else. The worship, the, the song ministration, it was so powerful, so, so, so amazing. What even thrilled me so much was the powerful direction that Papa led us to do. The flower di direction. It's all so powerful and so wonderful. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the declaration that he made on the flower. Any, when you go out to take the photograph, what you have to say after you have used the flower to pose for, you know, a, a, a picture with a flower under the palm tree 
on the compound outside the compound you declare that my life has changed my story has changed my story has changed and it was so profound it was so wonderful and so anybody who participated in the direction yesterday i want to assure you that by the declaration of my father the prophet your story has indeed changed amen oh shout a believing amen amen you are no longer what you used to be after yesterday a change has taken place in your life a change has taken place in your destiny a change has taken place in your finances a change has taken place in your position a change has taken place in your location so in the realms of the spirit you are not no longer the same person and i want you to believe in that declaration because it has already begun and it is going to manifest in your life in the coming days your story has indeed changed amen oh shout a believing amen amen a change has taken place in the atmosphere a change has taken place in the air a change has taken place in the realms of the spirit ready to manifest in the material or the physical world hallelujah amen oh praise god hallelujah. amen and amen, amen. <clears throat> i want to seize this opportunity to thank my father the prophet his excellency prophet dr sefas kwame pega tamaklo for giving me this platform to stand in his stead to be a blessing to you papa may god bless you and may your grace increase more and more hallelujah amen oh hallelujah amen yesterday was so powerful and the teaching that came about be, the friends that you have to avoid as god has changed your story as god is about to give you a testimony as god is about to lift you up you must beware of certain friends and so don't forget that teaching so powerful life transforming message life transforming message there are certain people in our lives who have the enemy has used against us for a very long time and who have been a hindrance to our breakthroughs who has been a, a hindrance to our blessings for a very long time but we don't know somebody will ask that so must we not keep friends yes you must even god himself had a friend god kept friends abraham was a friend to god say amen amen moses was a friend to god a lot of people david was a friend to god there were people god himself called them as friends praise god Hallelujah. well the bible said that there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother yes but at the same time a same friend can also be a snare to your life and your destiny and so whoever heard the message yesterday i plead that you put this word into practice you you allow this word to guide you and believe me what god has begun to do in your life nobody can stop it amen. oh hallelujah amen praise god hallelujah hallelujah amen. amen amen now before we start i start giving you some revelations for this week what the kind of prayer points we are we're going to pray is going to prepare us for a breakthrough and a miracle this week but before then let me give you this few announcements for the week so that you take note of them and you try to adhere to them it's going to be very beneficial to your destiny this week is another week of great encounter with the power of god this week is another week to have an encounter with the supernatural this week is a week that your expectation level must be very high yes your expectation level must go very high because god is about to do it again this week hallelujah amen tuesday we have our spiritual checkup service two sessions one in the morning 5 a.m and then the other 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 session comes on in the evening at 5 p.m and so do well to be part of this wonderful encounter with a prophetic gift of my father the prophet yes something is following you something is chasing you the cause of your problems are more spiritual than physical yes because the enemy attacks you first of all in the in the spiritual if you will be killed you are killed already in the realms of the spirit 
if you be disgraced they disgrace you in the realms of the spirit so most of the time the dreams that we have are messages that god is giving to us about things happening to us or what the enemy has done to our destinies and it begins to manifest in the physical if you don't do anything about it and so you need a prophet who will be able to tell you what is wrong with your life what is actually causing the problems in your life and prescribe a spiritual solution to your problems and so tuesday don't miss it for anything there are miraculous things spectacular miracles that takes place on tuesdays there are so many of the testimonies we play on air are all to place on tuesdays and so tuesday is the spirit day of our father don't waste time the enemy has buffeted you for a very long time the enemy has harassed you for a very long time you have been in bondage for a very long time this sickness has worried you for a very long time it is time for you to have an encounter with a prophet of god who speaks the mind of god and whose ministry is approved by signs and wonders i'm talking about my father the prophet prophet doctor Sefas Kwame Pegatamakro. amen amen so tomorrow tomorrow tuesday is going to be wonderful it's going to be special it's going to be so powerful hallelujah amen yes it happens to be the fifth day of the third month which is also a prophetic thing at this month of uh, march as i was going through the the, the the numbers the days are all prophetic say amen, amen. oh hallelujah amen. and on friday my god the mega all night the super mega all night one in town the whole of accra there is no no all night that is powerful on fridays like the all night in breaking your ministry international an atmosphere for miracles where you encounter divinity in a very unique way praise god Hallelujah. it is that deliverance and direction night so every friday there is a direction and this coming friday is a very powerful one what is it say amen you are writing three things now listen to this one is very very important we are writing three things three prayer requests our father had a voice from god as he was ministering and papa has asked us to write three prayer requests write three prayer requests and bring them on friday we are, we are going to work on them and the god of Pega will answer your prayers amen. say amen. amen and give you a testimony so three prayer requests on friday three prayer requests on friday and on sunday which is the happen to be the tent on the tent of the third month the tenth day of the third month sunday is tenth. there is also another powerful direction that is coming on praise god hallelujah amen. and papa is saying that in fact it's going to be a day of testimonies a sunday of testimonies testimony sunday testimony galore is going to be so powerful god will give you a testimony amen i said god will give you a testimony amen because the number 10 stands for testimony and so on the 10th day of the third month you will receive a testimony amen oh i thought you would shout a loud amen amen praise god hallelujah oh hallelujah amen this morning I want to talk to somebody this morning i want to talk to somebody and don't forget that every sunday the service starts at 5 a.m by 7 you are seated and then we we'll move the program don't forget that the all night is 8 p.m every friday the all night is 8 p.m every friday so don't miss it for anything come with friends and family and your life will never be the same hallelujah Amen. praise god hallelujah. praise god hallelujah. now this morning i want to pray with you but before i pray with you i want to open your eyes concerning certain things how the power of god moves in our life if you are expecting a testimony if you are expecting a breakthrough in your life if you are expecting a change in your life and your destiny psalm 37 verse number four say something let me begin with that one this morning psalm 37 verse number four you are expecting god to move in your life you are expecting god to give you a, 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 an, an upliftment in life 
th 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 you must take note of these things and it's very very important many of us will miss our testimonies many of us will miss the move of god why because we have allowed one self-pity to envelope us self-pity to envelope envelope you you feel that your situation is the worst you feel that god doesn't care anymore you feel that everybody has rejected you you you, you self-pity and it breaks your spirit it does not allow a free flow of the power and the anointing of god in your life it does not allow god to be able to move in your life don't allow self-pity to envelope you don't see your situation as the worst don't see yourself as a rejected somebody don't see yourself that it is over for you it is not over yet praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah god allows challenges and problems to come our way for a reason and for a purpose and so pain and suffering are good because when pain and suffering enters into your life according to Romans chapter 8 18 after they have finished their work in you they leave you with a blessing they leave you with something very valuable but here what the bible is saying here is that delight yourself also in the Lord 2024 if it's going to be a year of testimonies for you if god is going to give you great and mighty testimonies then the first thing that i want to draw your mind to this morning before we pray is that you must delight yourself in the lord delight in yourself in the lord don't delight yourself outside the lord but rather delight yourself in the lord some try to find pleasure some try to find joy and happiness outside the lord and that is detrimental to your soul and to your spirit say amen amen many people's destinies have been shipwrecked many people have gone through a lot of calamities and disasters in life because they did not delight themselves in the lord if there is any place that you have to delight yourself be happy if there is any place that you will find joy it is in the lord say amen amen oh say amen, amen. praise god hallelujah, hallelujah. the bible said that the joy of the lord is my strength so as you delight yourself in the lord as you forget about the challenges as you forget about the pain as you forget about what the doctors told you as you forget about the poverty what you are going through the depth as you forget about the the, the, the fear you know the enemy is putting fear to you because of what you are seeing and what you are hearing if you are able to forget about them and then you start rejoicing in the lord delighting yourself in the lord oh my god my god my god god is going to visit you in a very unique way Man. I, I, I am I am talking about how you can invoke the presence of God how you can carry the presence of God with you at all times delight yourself in the Lord Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 he said what rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice so it is not about good times only that you rejoice always whether you are in bad times whether you are in good times whether you are going through struggles in life whether you are going through rejection in life you rejoice in the lord always always shout a believing amen amen so you must take note of this this year especially this month of march when god is opening new doors of opportunities yesterday papa led us to pray that prayer new doors of opportunity when god is opening doors for us if you can enter into your door of testimony then you need to delight yourself in the lord rejoice in the lord rejoice in the lord be joyful this morning be thankful unto god be grateful unto god for how far he has brought you be grateful unto god for what you have and thank him for what you don't have in your life praise god hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. never complain never mama one of the things that caused the israelites most of them to die in the wilderness as they took their journey the exodus to the promised land was murmuring and complaining they were not grateful unto god 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Your present situation is somebody's answered prayer. Where God has taken you to how far you have gotten to life is somebody's answered prayer. Be, be grateful unto God. Rejoice. Be thankful unto God. Say amen. amen. I always say that if I don't have something right now, it doesn't mean that God doesn't want to give it to me, but it means that now I don't need those things. Because he has assured me that he will supply what I need. What I need, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So if I don't have it now, I pray for it, it's not, I don't have it. It means that God knows that this time around, I don't need it. At the right time, he will provide. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please bring back the scripture. Delight yourself in the Lord. Trust also in him. Trust also in him. Don't put your trust in man. Man will disappoint you. Say amen. amen. Man will fail you. Say amen. amen. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. Oh, I love that one. Say amen. amen. So as you praise God, as you worship him, as you serve him, the Bible said that the desires of your heart, God himself will give them to you. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is not by complaining that you receive, but as you delight yourself in the Lord, God himself will give you the desires of your heart. Say amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. I am talking to somebody this morning. Never complain. You, have com you complain too much. Now everybody knows about your problems. Everybody, all your friends, they know that you have this sickness. All your friends know that you have this problem in your marriage. It will not solve the problem. Nobody can help you. The only person who can help you is God himself. And so delight yourself in the Lord. Say amen. Amen. Now this morning, I want us to do something very special. I want us to move into three scriptures and based upon that, the revelation that we are gathering for connected to the testimony week. So this week, I call it a testimony week. Say amen. amen. It's a week for our prayer request to be answered by God. And I'm giving you three scriptures in the, in the Bible and we'll stand on those things to pray that and remove every hindrance to our testimonies. Shout and believe it. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. The first one is the, the man at the pool of Bethesda. The man at the pool of Bethesda. In the book of John chapter 5, from verse 1, we'll just be picking some revelations as we read along. Three scriptures. And after that, we'll pray. Say amen. Amen. Somebody's testimony is about to manifest. Amen. Oh, your loudest amen will make it happen. Amen. I said someone's testimony is about to manifest. Amen. This week is a week of testimony for you. Amen. Expect a testimony from God. Amen. Expect a testimony in your life. Amen. Expect God to meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Expect to have an encounter with the power of God. Amen. I am talking about the supernatural. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Now, let's read quickly. He said, after Jesus returned to Jerusalem for one of the Jewish holidays. Move it to verse 2. So, it was a festival. Something was taking place and everybody has gathered. And Jesus was also there. Say, amen. amen. He said, inside the city near the sheep gate was the pool of Bethesda with five covered porches. Move it for me. Move it for me. Move it for me. In this lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. And that is the first point that I want us to pray about, the moving of the water. What you need in your life is the moving of the water. The water stands for the Holy Spirit. Say amen. amen. The moving of the anointing of God in your life will cause a change in your situation. Praise God. Hallelujah. If your sickness can be healed, if that blindness can leave you, if God can heal you of that sickness, of that paralysis, of that uh, spine problem, you need the moving of the water. The Holy Spirit must move upon you. Say amen. amen. It said, Acts chapter 1 verse, it said, When the Spirit comes upon you, ye shall receive power, and ye shall be witnesses unto me. And so for you to be able to experience the power of God, you need the moving of the water. You need the moving of the Spirit of God. Say amen. amen. When you read John chapter 7, he was talking about likening the, the Holy Spirit to the experience of water. 
Say amen. amen. And so, anytime the Bible talks about water, he's talking about the Holy Spirit, the moving of the moving of the water. I pray to God that may God move, may the Spirit of God move mightily in your life. Amen. May there be a movement of the Spirit of God in your life this week as never before. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. Because you need that moving of the water. Hallelujah. Amen. Please move it for me. Move it for me. Lakatu shada bahande, bri akatari andareba. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. So here now you are understanding what I'm saying. The angel goes to stir up the water. The supernatural being goes to stir up the water. This week there is going to be the stirring up of water. Oh, I didn't hear your loudest amen. Amen. The stirring up of the anointing of God. Amen. You need that stirring up of the anointing of God. Yes. We need to engage the ministry of angels this week. Mm. Lift up your two hands wherever you are. Say, Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, this morning, this morning I need a stirring, I need a stirring, a stirring up, a stirring up of your anointing, of your anointing upon, my life. upon my life. I need a stirring up, I need a stirring up of the anointing. Of the, of, the of the Holy Ghost upon my life, upon my life. Let, your let your angels move into action, move into action. Let, your let your angels move into action, move into action. and cause a stirring up cause a stirring up of your anointing in my life in the name hallelujah yes, praise God hallelujah. so whoever enters into the water after the stirring of the water the Bible said that the person is made well. Praise God. Hallelujah. I see a stirring up taking place in the realms of the spirit. Amen. Tomorrow, Tuesday, there is going to be a stirring up of the spirit of God. Amen. Oh, I didn't hear your loudest amen. amen. I said tomorrow, Tuesday, there is going to be a stirring up of the anointing of the Holy Ghost amen. in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you are able to step into that stirring up, if you are able to step into that atmosphere, you will be made well. Amen. Oh, your loudest amen will make it happen. Amen. Tomorrow, I am seeing God doing something great in the midst of his people. Yes. Through the oil upon my father, the prophet. A stirring up. Amen. A stirring up. Amen. A stirring up. Amen. A stirring up. Amen. So anytime there is a stirring up of the anointing, what you need to do is that be the first to step into that anointing. And there shall be a performance. Yes, Lord. Be the first to step into the anointing, the stirring up of the anointing of God, and surely your situation and your story will change. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said, anybody who enters his story changes. Please move it for me. Please move it for me. Verse 5. Yes, verse 5. He said, now a certain man who was there who had an infirmity 38 years a certain man this name was not mentioned a certain man a certain man was there that certain man can be you yes praise god Hallelujah. he was also there and his situation he has been in that situation for 38 years i don't know how long that infirmity had been with you i don't know how long that situation had been with you i don't know how long that challenge had been with you i don't know how long that disappointment had been with you i don't know that how long that failure had been with you but god knows how long and your time is due heaven has heard your prayers and god has come down to deliver you from that problem amen. oh shout a believing amen. amen there was a certain man and that man had been in that situation that hopeless situation for 38 years somebody's problem has lasted for 22 years somebody's problem has lasted for 10 years praise god Hallelujah. oh praise god Hallelujah. please move it for me la katu shadabaha now when jesus saw him that that man had been lying there and knew that he had already been in that condition for a long time so jesus knows how long you have been in that condition i want you to understand that jesus knows how long you have been in that condition and tomorrow through my father the prophet jesus is going to speak into your life amen your loudest amen will make it happen amen i said tomorrow tuesday 
Jesus is going to speak through my father the prophet Amen. because he knows how long you have been in that situation he said he said to him do you want to be made well so that is my question to you this morning whoever is watching me and wherever you are watching me from I want to ask you this question that Jesus asked this man of course Jesus knew that the man needed healing Jesus knew that the man had been in that situation for a very long time Jesus knew that that man was uncomfortable living in that condition but yet he posed that question to him do you want to be made well say amen, amen. praise God Hallelujah. Papa was teaching yesterday he said your expectation will move the hand of God into your situation and into your life say amen. amen your expectation will connect you to your testimony your expectation will connect you to your miracle mm -hmm. say amen. amen so he was asking the man do you have any expectation at all do you want to be made well i am asking somebody this morning that do you want your situation to change are you tired of living in that condition are you tired of living in that poverty are you tired of living in that hopeless situation do you want your situation to change do you want to be made well do you want your life to be made well praise god hallelujah now if you want your life to be made well now listen to this one now the next verse talks about something that i love so much the next verse talks about something i love so much the sick man answered him said i have no man to put me into this pool somebody you are telling yourself that in my family i have nobody to help me to make it i have no uncle outside the country to help me i have no auntie i have nobody to help me if you if you if you have somebody you would have been you, are, you would have prospered that is what you are saying but you don't need the help of man ah my god you didn't hear me somebody i said you don't need the help of man you think you need somebody but i tell you what you don't need man you need god in your life you need god in your situation he said i have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up but while i am coming out yes another obstacle another steps into before me say amen, amen. in the family that is what is happening anytime you try to rise up in the family anytime you try to shine in the family somebody goes ahead of you in the company that is what is happening anytime there is promotion anytime there is an opportunity for you to excel and to go higher somebody goes ahead of you in your life that is what is happening anytime a door is about to open for you somebody goes ahead of you and that person who goes out ahead of you to stop your blessing and to stop your breakthrough must be eliminated must be taken off the way Say amen. amen. Oh, say amen. amen. Say it with your loudest voice. Say, Oh God of God. Oh God of Any man or woman. Any man or woman. Any hindrance. Any hindrance on my way. On my way to prosperity. To prosperity. Anything, anything or any man, or any man who goes before me. Goes before me. Any time. Anytime. My time. My time is due, is due for promotion. For promotion. My, time my time is due. Is for a miracle, as I pray, as I pray, may you be removed out of my way. May you be taken out of my life right now. In a day, katu shada bahalaba le katarianda. Any time I try to move forward, somebody goes ahead of me. Somebody crosses my path. Somebody stops me from entering into that door. Of opportunity but this week the story is about to change Amen. oh i love that i love that declaration my story has changed Amen. somebody i want you to go to your comment session right now on facebook page go there and comment that my story has changed go there and comment right now yes go to your facebook page right now go to the comment section that my story has changed your story has changed say amen, amen. this time nobody can go ahead of you because the master himself has come to you praise god Hallelujah. there is going to be a divine visitation this week amen oh your loudest amen will make it happen amen. i said there is going to be a divine visitation this week amen. this time it's not going to be man who is coming to help you but god himself will come down to visit you amen. you are going to receive a strange visit in your house 
you are going to receive a strange visit at your workplace a divine encounter a divine encounter a supernatural encounter jesus himself will come down to you amen. say amen. amen because jesus realized that this man if i don't go down there to help him this man the way he's talking that negativity coming into from his from his mouth that way of thinking if i myself don't go down there this man will remain in this situation forever he cannot come out that is our situation sometimes it is our way of thinking we think we don't have anybody we think there is nobody there to help us we think you think you need somebody before you can make it in life and so because of that you have placed a limitation upon your life and upon your destiny say oh god of oh god of this morning this morning any limitation, any limitation that, I placed, that i have placed upon my life upon my, life, upon my, destiny, upon my destiny this morning this morning may that limitation, may that limitation be, broken be broken by fire, by fire. In, the in the name of jesus say amen, amen. oh say amen, amen. praise god Hallelujah. now move to the next verse move to the next verse move to the next verse Sharu i see somebody having a divine encounter divine visitation this week divine visitation say this week i will have a divine visitation say amen praise god god will visit you in a way that you least expect i don't think that the man was expecting that jesus will appear in the situation as at that time he was not expecting it but he was desiring for a change that oh god when am i going to leave this place i have been in this situation for quite too long i need a change i need a change i need a change when am i going to leave this place say amen, amen. but as he was praying his spirit connected to the spirit of god and god sent jesus himself the father sent jesus to come into his situation hallelujah amen now listen to this one this is where we are going to end for uh, with the scripture and then we start praying jesus said to him rise number one take up your bed number two and walk hallelujah amen rise this morning brother my sister listening to me right now you need to rise up you need to rise up out of that fear you need to rise up out of that mediocrity you need to rise up out of that intimidation you need to rise up rise up rise up rise up from that doubt rise up you need to rise up rise up in faith this morning hallelujah amen. rise up in faith this morning say amen, amen. say this morning, this morning by the power, by the power and, anointing and anointing upon my life, upon my life I, rise I rise up in faith, in faith to, take to take over what belongs to me, belongs to me. praise god Hallelujah. you need to rise you have been at, in that situation for quite too long you have been lying down for a very long time the time has come for you to rise up you know why because god himself has visited you amen. oh hallelujah amen when you rise up take up your bed that bed that has kept you at one spot for a very long time that bed of disgrace that bed of limitation that bed of stagnation that bed that bed that bed grab take up that bed praise god Hallelujah. so rise up and take that bed that disgrace not, tell yourself not anymore say no more no more no more shame no more, shame. No more, poverty. No more poverty no more disgrace no more no more no more enough enough is enough, it's enough. say amen. amen this week yes. you are going to take up your bed amen. that bed of disgrace you will carry it in your hands that will be the the symbol of your testimony say amen. amen the day you stand to give your testimony you will hold that bed and show it to the people that i was on this bed this bed has kept me in in this situation for a very long time but when i had an encounter with the god of pega oh my god he commanded me to rise from that problem and i did rise and i took up my bed this is the symbol this is the testimony this is the evidence say amen, amen. and start walking so this week you are going to walk amen. walk into your marriage amen. 
Your amen is very, very low. Amen. Walk into your marriage door. Amen. Walk into your traveling door. Amen. Walk into your destiny door. Amen. Walk, walk into. Amen. Walk into amen. your greatness. Amen. Walk into amen. your door amen. of favor. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. This week you are going to walk amen. into that office amen. where you went and you were disqualified. You are going to walk back there again. And this time when you go there, you receive favor. Amen. God himself will cause them to favor you. Amen. Oh, your loudest amen will make it happen. Amen. Oh, your loudest amen will make it happen. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let me give you another scripture. The case of Hannah. Praise God. Hallelujah. First Samuel. I love that scripture. First Samuel chapter number one. And then quickly we'll go to the prayer that Hannah prayed in chapter 2. And then we'll start zooming into prayer right away. Praise God. Hallelujah. You will walk. I said somebody will walk. Amen. I said you will walk. Amen. You will walk into prosperity. Amen. You will walk into affluence. Amen. You will walk for everybody to see you. Amen. I, 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 I am imagining when the man started walking those who knew him before those who knew that he had been in that situation for a very long time i can imagine what they were thinking that is this not this man who had been here for a very long time is this not, not this man who has been begging for arms is this not this man who has stayed at the pool for all these years without any change say amen, amen. and then he will tell them it is i soon and very soon those who rejected you those who wrote you off those who saw your shame they are about to see oh hallelujah amen. your glory say amen. amen god is going to change your story amen. say my story has changed my story has changed ah papa may god bless i love that declaration amen. say my story has changed my story has changed words carry power yes. south my story has changed my story has changed i don't care what you think or i don't care how what people think about you what god has said concerning your life that is the testimony of god it is the testimony of god that will stand praise god Hallelujah. there was a man in, in in from rama this man was called elkanah move to the verse 2 for me and the bible said that he had two wives one penina and one hannah and the bible said that penina was fruitful was bringing forth children but hannah had no child penana had children but hannah had no child penana had children but that hannah had no child now this man went up from his city yearly to worship and sacrifice that is the prayer that is the prayer so when if you need a testimony from god if you expect god to move in your life the first thing that you have to do is to worship and then to sacrifice somebody shout worship worship and sacrifice. and sacrifice one more time say worship, worship. And, sacrifice. and sacrifice that is why i started by saying that rejoice in the lord at all times be joyful always because worship brings down the presence of god say amen, amen. and sacrifice connects you to the heart of god sacrifice will connect you to heaven sacrifice will connect you to heaven sacrifice will take you to heaven whilst worship brings down the presence of god down on earth say amen. amen so what you need is to worship and then to sacrifice so get ready to sacrifice a kind of sacrifice the miracle didn't just take place he sacrificed he gave double portion to hannah so whilst hannah was fasting and praying elkanah was sacrificing and lo and behold a miracle took place say amen, amen had an encounter with the prophet of God and the prophet spoke into her life that a year by this time you'll be carrying the baby now move to the uh, uh, chapter 2 chapter 2 verse 1 that is where the prayer lies and then let's start praying shout fire 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 fire, fire, fire. shout my story has changed my story has changed praise God hallelujah. hallelujah your story is not now going to change you your story has changed already Amen. and as you confess it you possess it Amen. praise god Amen. and hannah prayed and said my heart rejoices in the lord 
my horn is exalted in the Lord. I smile at my enemies. This week, you are going to smile at your enemies. Amen. Because your enemies are about to be disgraced. Amen. Oh, your loudest amen will make it happen. Amen. What they, they intended, they meant evil for you. What they intended to befall you, God is going to turn it, turn it out for, out for your good. Say amen. amen. He will turn it for your good. Say amen. amen. And so, they, they think that you are going to die. By the time they realize you are walking about, Amen. praise God. Hallelujah. They thought that you are going to be disgraced. By the time they realize you are promoted, Amen. oh, shout a believing Amen. Amen. And you will smile at your enemies. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Somebody smile at your enemies. Shake Libriandoloba. Because I rejoice. Why I smile? Because I rejoice in your salvation. I rejoice in your deliverance. So salvation means deliverance. It means that God is about to deliver you. Amen. And because of that deliverance, you are going to smile at your enemies. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. No one is holy like our God. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. The God that you serve, there is none that shall be compared unto him. Say amen. amen. He is a powerful God. He is an awesome God. He is a great God. The great God of wonders. Praise God. Your testimony is not going to be ordinary. Because the God you are serving is a great God. He's going to do something that will baffle the minds of your enemies. Shout a believing amen. amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, can we pray some prayer this morning? Yes. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to zoom into prayer. I want us to pray certain prayers to manifest our testimony. Say this week. This week. I will surely, I will surely manifest, manifest my, testimony. my testimony. Say this week, this week is my week, is my week to, encounter to encounter the supernatural, the supernatural as, never as never before. Say this week, this week, this week, this week is my week, is my week of, open doors. of open doors. My story, my story has, changed. has changed. My story, my story has, changed. has changed. My story has changed. Poverty, poverty is out. For my life, my life. Disgrace, disgrace is out, is out of, my life. of my life. Stagnation, Stagnation is, out is out of my life. Of my life. Limitation, Limitation is, out is out of my life. Of my life. Failure, Failure is, out is out of my life. Of my, life. My, week my week of great testimony, of great testimony is, now. is now. Shout a believing amen. amen. Oh, shout a believing amen. amen. Oh, shout a believing amen. amen. Now, wherever you are, I want you to lift up your two hands. And let's begin to give thanks to God. Let's rejoice in his salvation. Let's rejoice in his deliverance. Let's rejoice in what God has done for us. Let's rejoice for the battles that God has won for us. Open your mouth wherever you are. Pastor, open your mouth. Brother, open your mouth. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice. Wherever you are watching me from. Be grateful unto God. Show your gratitude unto God. Thank God. Thank God. Bless him. Bless him. Worship the Lord. 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 Rakato Shaita Balava. Bri Andoro Balava. Shaita Balava. Make a In the name of Jesus. Praise God. You realize that anytime anybody discovers the secret and applies it into his life, God comes into the situation at once by force. Even if it is impossible, God turns it around and makes it possible. The centurion who went came to Jesus, the son was dying. The Bible said when he came to Jesus, he worshipped him. Mary Magdalene, when she came to Jesus, she, the Bible said with a woman with seven demons, she worshipped the maker. And God came into her situation and changed her situation. So worship carries power. Say amen. Amen. I said worship carries power. It can connect you supernaturally at once by force. And you begin to experience the miracle hand of God in your life. Say amen. Amen. Oh, say amen. Amen. Now, let's go to the pool of Bethesda and pray. John chapter 5. Bring, bring back the scripture and let's pray certain prayers. Breaking your uh-huh fire uh-huh fire breaking yo uh-huh fire uh-huh fire breaking yo uh-huh fire 
Uh -huh. The God of Kaga. John chapter 5. Bring it up. Now lift up your two hands wherever you are. I have told you that anytime God wants to move in your life, you need to walk upright. You need to walk well. He said, Abraham, I want to bless you. Genesis chapter 17. Walk before me and be perfect. Say amen. amen. Walk before me and be blameless. Say amen. amen. So if God wants to visit you, if God wants to change your story, you need to walk a blameless life. Many of us, there are certain sins that we committed, there are certain things that we did that paved the way for the enemy to enter into our lives for that evil covenant to fight against us. But this morning, our God is merciful. Amen. I said our God is merciful. Amen. According to his word in Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 7, he forgives sins. And so let's go before the Lord right now, even before we come to pray these prayers. Lift up your two hands wherever you are and say it after me. Say, Oh God of beggar, oh God of beggar I come before you, I come before you in, humility. in humility. I confess, I confess all, my sins all my sins unto you, unto you and the sins, and the sins of, my of my fathers and mothers. And mothers. Any, sin Any sin that has become, that has become a, hindrance a hindrance to my breakthrough. My breakthrough. Any sin. Any that has become a hindrance to my testimony. Oh God, oh God, let your mercy locate me this morning. Have mercy upon me and forgive me all my sins in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Ask for forgiveness of sins. Ask for forgiveness of sins. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Ask for forgiveness of sins. He delights in mercy. God is rich in mercy. He easily forgives. Go before him, confess your sins. With brokenness of heart. With brokenness of heart. With brokenness of heart. Confess your sins unto the Lord. Confess your sins unto the Lord. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Rakato Shaita Balaba. Rekete Kriandalaba. Briando Rodorodo. Briando Shaita Baya. Rekato Briandoria. Rabado Shaita Baraba. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus. Now, there must be a stirring of the water. Say amen. Amen. He said, at a certain time, please bring back the scripture. Now is the time. At a certain time, I don't know the certain time, but God in his calendar has certain times that he moves and visits his people. Say amen. amen. So your certain time can be this week. Say amen. amen. At a certain time, the angel of God went down into the pool to stir up the water. Say amen. amen. So this morning, what you need is the stirring up of the water, amen. the stirring up of the anointing, the stirring up of the power of God. When the spirit comes upon you, you will be empowered to do greater works. Shout a believing amen. amen. Oh, shout a believing amen. amen. The water must be stirred. Yes. Lift up your two hands wherever you are. Say, Oh God, a beggar. Oh God, a beggar. Cause a stirring up. Cause a stirring up. Of your anointing. Of your power. In my life. This morning. As I clap my hands. And I pray. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Oh God of Pega, oh God of Pega, this morning, cause a staring up, cause a staring up of your anointing and your power in my life, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Cause a staring up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ah, Sharabaya. Ah, Likatosha. Laba, laba, laba. Lete, te, te, te. Sheita, Marianda. Reka, to, Marianda. Ripa, to, Sheita. Aduska, Tabaya. Lele, 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 lele. Ah, Dayabe. Go ahead and pray. Reke, to, Sheita, Kabaha. Maswan, Taria. Rika, to, Riyande. Raba, yaba, laba, laba. Raba, yaba, laba, laba. Raba, yaba, laba, laba. Rakato Shabayaba, Rakato Kataka, Rakato Shaita, Rakata Kataka. Go ahead, 
pray for a stirring up. La shaita kaba, rakato sata. Yes Lord, 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 rakato sata. Yaba yaba, yaba la 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 la, briadosa, rakatoyanda, rabados kata, rabados shaitawa, rakataka. In the name of Jesus, praise God. The reason why that sickness has refused to move from your life is because you have refused to stir up the water. The water must be stirred up. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. If the water is stirred up, that disease. That infirmity will live your life. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. That poverty and disgrace will live your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need an angel of the Lord to move in your life this morning. Shout a believing amen. amen. Now move the scripture for me. Verse 5. Verse 5. Verse 5. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. I don't know how long you have been in that situation but it is about time for you to come out from that situation amen. enough is enough say amen, amen. say every cycle, of poverty every cycle of poverty in my life, in my life. Break, my fire. break my fire are we together yes Masu, Tari, and every, cycle of disgrace every cycle of disgrace in my life, in my life. That, has that has been with me for a long time, a long time. Today, today i command you, I command you. Break my fire. Break my fire. Break my fire. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care how long that problem has been with you. But that problem has an ear. And that problem listens to the name, the, the, the name, the voice of Jesus. And so as we speak to that problem, that problem will live your life at once by four. Our know it is about to stop by at once by four. Amen. CJD, you know, it is about to end in your life. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 38 years. How? Even if this man was crawling small, small, scrolling small, at least 38 years, he should have been able to get to the pool. But what happened? Say amen. Amen. There, there was a cord spiritually that was used to tie this man. And so simple reasoning was taken out say amen. amen sometimes a spell can be cast upon you eh? cast upon your thinking cast upon your mind things that you you are supposed to do you forget them things that you are supposed to do to prosper you things that are supposed to do to change your life you, you, the spell will make you forget all those things let's break any demonic spell that the enemy has cast upon our mind cast upon our thinking that is refusing us to encounter our miracle to receive our miracle let's pray that prayer lift up your two hands say oh god the beggar oh god the beggar, oh god, the beggar. Oh god, the beggar. this morning this morning by your anointing, by your anointing and, your power, and your power upon my life, upon my life I, destroy, I destroy i destroy i destroy any demonic spell, any demonic spell cast, on mind, cast on my mind cast on my mind preventing me preventing from, taking from taking over my testimony, my testimony from preventing me from taking over what belongs to me in the name of Jesus clap your hands and pray destroy that spell destroy 38 years Shabaya Kato Shalimaha Baya Lalama Sande Neke Teke Lebe Rebe Do Shaitaba Yes Lord Yes Lord Go ahead and pray that prayer Go ahead and pray that prayer Ah Shalimaha Ayaro Asa Kato Kata Reketekeshe Yebe Lebriado Seitaba Rakato Seitaba Yaba Reketekeshe Yesori Rakato Beria Rakato Yanderia Rabala Bala Bala Basha Rakato Ria Oh God of Pega Oh God of Pega This morning By your anointing And power Upon my life I cast out I cast out every demonic, every demonic spirit, spirit, spirit preventing, me preventing me from taking over from taking over, from taking over from taking what belongs to me add that one to it yes, from wow. taking over take it what belongs to me in the name of jesus pray that prayer pray that prayer la shabaraba rakato shaita rakato maya yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord go ahead and pray that prayer 
Go ahead and pray that prayer. Rakataka, Rabadosha, Rakatosha. Go ahead. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Akatosha, Akateba, Rakatosha, Rakatoba, Rebelebe, Ayasoro, Riakate. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Breaking all. Hey. Hey. Breaking all. Hey. Hey. The God of Pagan. Hallelujah. Shout, my story has changed. My story has changed. And This week, this should be your declaration. As Papa has declared, so shall it be. Say amen. Amen. My story has changed. My story. Now continue for me. Huh? When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been there in that condition a long time. So it means that God knows your situation. Even before you come to him, he knows what you have been through. He knows what you are going through. He knows what people are saying about you. He knows how painful that situation is. God knows it and knows you have been there for a long time. But it is coming to an end this week. Amen. Your loudest amen will make it happen. Amen. He asked him, do you want to be made well? Say, oh God, of beggar. Oh God, of beggar. Oh God, of beggar. Oh God, of beggar. Let my destiny, Let my destiny become, well. become well. Let my life, Let my life be, made well. be made well. Let my marriage, Let my marriage be, made well. be made well. Let my ministry, Let my ministry be, made well. be made well. Let my business, Let my business be, made well. be made well. So when your business is sick, you need the power of Jesus for your business to be made well. Verse 7, verse 7. Let's release some prayers here. This morning we are praying prophetic prayers. Say amen. amen. The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no man to put me into this pool. I have nobody to help me. But you have God to help me. Yes. Say, Oh God, of Pega, oh, you are my help. You are my help. In time of trouble. In time of trouble. Answer me. Answer me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Come into my situation. Into my situation. And help me. And help me. Say amen. amen. God will come into your situation amen. to help you. Amen. If there is no man to help you, yes, if everybody has refused to help you, God Himself will come into your situation amen. and He will help you. Amen. Say amen. amen. And another person, when any time I try, that is the prayer point. Any time I try to move forward in life, any time you try to make a progress in life, any time you attempt to do something meaningful in your life, then someone will step ahead of you. So anybody who goes ahead of you to stop your shine, to stop your testimony, any demonic power that goes ahead of me to stop good things from coming into my life, be arrested and be cast out. Amen. Lift up your two hands. Say, oh God, I pray God, this morning, as I clap my hands, and I pray, any demonic power from my family, from my workplace, where I live, that goes ahead of me to stop good things from entering into my life. As I clap my hands, and I pray, be arrested, be arrested, and be cast out, out of my life. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. Be arrested and be cast out. Shabbatayakata, rakato sheitaba, rekete kete kete, yeshoni bara bara bara, yekato sheitaba bara, bri agori wa lebria, rekete kete, sheitaba ya bara bara, lebe, yes Lord, go ahead, pray that prayer, go ahead, pray that prayer, rekete kete kete, yebe yebe yebe, lebri agori sheita. Oh God of Pega, oh God of Pega, this morning, any demonic power from my workplace, my family, or where I live, that goes ahead of me to destroy good things in my life, to destroy good things coming into my life, wherever you are, be arrested and be cast out, be arrested and be cast out in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Hey, Sharabalaba. Yekato Shaita Kabala. 
Meswan keria baraba. Meya de meri andero. Rebe de de shaitaba. Raga dusta da ba. Raba de shaitaba la ba. Raka ko shaitaba raka. Maga dusta da ba ya. Raba dusta di ande. Go ahead and pray. Open your mouth wherever you are. Under the sound of my voice. Wherever you are watching me from. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Raka tosha. Raka tosha. Raba na ba na ba. Biya dorwa ne ba. Reke keke ne ba. Biya dore ba ne ba. Biya dore shaka. Reka to ne biya ba. Ina ne. This thing is very serious. I want us to repeat this uh, prayer again. It happened. It happened to Esau. It happened to Esau. The Bible said when his time was due for he Esau to receive fatherly blessings from his father before his father dies, the brother went ahead of him and took what belongs to him. If you are not careful, something that belongs to you, you are the rightful owner. You are the right person to be in that office. You are the right person to enjoy that marriage. You are the right person for that position. But if care is not taken, it is a spirit from our foundation. If care is not taken, somebody will go ahead of you. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. May that never be your story. Amen. Your loudest amen will make it happen. Amen. I said, may that never be your story. Amen. When I am ready to move into my open door, then somebody will go ahead of me. Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. But that is coming to an end. Amen. Please move it. Move it to the verse 8 for me. Verse 8 for me. Adu skatahende. Ribadu shaitariande. Rakatoru ande riaba. Riatoru ande riaba. Likalaba laba laba laba. Riado shaita balaba laba. Rianderia balaba laba. Likato shaita. Azo kate rianderia sha. Rikalaba laba laba laba. Likaleba laba laba. In a name. There was this bed of limitation the bed that has limited this man the bed that has kept this man at one spot for a very a very long time so there is a demonic power that has kept you at one spot for a very long time say amen, amen. 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 say amen sorry na won't mean sorry wa brebo mu nyina no enya kwa kata bi wa ya di amao ya se kata bi amao Say amen. Amen. in the Praise God. And you go see kete and the yasam. Oh, 
If it's a one you may have me, mama, my dear, 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 Abba <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, to me in a Baby, 
This morning, I feel that God is doing something new. Somebody shout, do a new thing. Do a new thing. Say, oh God, oh God, oh God, do a new thing. Do a new thing. Give me a new version. Give me a new version of my life. Of my life. And my destiny. And my destiny. Praise God. Hallelujah. Old version, a trip. Say amen. Amen. Now God is giving you a new version. Shaka. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say, oh God, oh God, oh God. As I clap my hands and pray. Give me a turn around. Give me a turn around. Testimony. Testimony. That will silence, that will silence my, enemies my enemies forever. Forever. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Asharabayaba. Ayakato Shaitabara. Arua Keterian Bara. Arua Katabaya de Briado Shaitaba. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Reketekesh. Yes, Ilabayaba. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Rakatu Shaida. Be a dos Kenya. And Tobaya. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, God of Pega. This week, uh, give me a turn around testimony that will silence my enemies in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now, first Samuel chapter 2, verse number 1. Downwards. We are praying the last prayer. Say amen. Amen. God must set you among princes. Amen. Your name must be included in the list of prominent men and women. Amen. In this country. Amen. And beyond. Shout a believing amen. Amen. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. That's the testimony. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My strength has increased. I smile at my enemies. God must give you a testimony that will cause put a smile on your face. Say amen. Amen. And your ma order by your watam for no one who are Kasa amen. Amen. I dear order by your watam for no Say amen. Amen. Because obe bubu a binum name. Say amen. Amen. A binum so their eyes will go blind. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember we we're officiating a wedding in the in the house one day, and then as the wedding was going on. The, the the auntie of the of of the of the woman was around at that occasion not knowing she came as a spy to see whether the thing is true why who ya be ya no ho ade nyina wie wonyi ni se wa ware ya she ni a a a a a wedding gown wie we be jina so they still wonyi ni so as we officiated papa blessed the marriage and released the father as the blessing was going on, the, the, the auntie left the auditorium at one by four. We intimate now, because amen. Amen. Says I didn't know who no. On Jindi, it is like may your testimony, may your life, the turn around in your life, be like a dream amen. to your enemies. Amen. Your loudness, amen, will make it. Happen. Amen. Oh, I said your loudness, amen, will make it. Happen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please move it for me. Move it for me. This morning, I am feeling the presence of God. Hallelujah. God is ministering to somebody. Yes, God is ministering to somebody. No one is holy like the Lord, for there is none beside you. No, there is, there, no, is there any rock like our God? Move it. Give me that portion that says that, I think verse 8 or so, that he will set you among princes. He will set you among prominent people. Say amen. Amen. He will guard, is that what? He will guard the feet of the saints, but the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength no man shall prevail. He sets you among princes. Uh Aha, that is what I want. Say amen. Amen. Yes, the verse 8. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the beggar from the ash heap. 
Into who they be are be are the but this year is changing. Amen. So amen. Amen. People will come to you and you give to them. Amen. You will not borrow, but you will lend to many amen. nations. Amen. And he sets them among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory. My Lord, I love this last prayer. Say amen. Amen. That will be your story. Amen. I said that will be your story. Amen. God is going to set you among great men, Amen. great personalities. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Through our father, the prophet, we have had encounter to meet great personalities. Hallelujah. Amen. Great personalities. Praise God. Amen. People that you never thought was even possible that you are going to meet them in your life. God will make you meet them. Hallelujah. Amen. When the, the lid is lifted, the lid covering your destiny, when it is lifted, then you begin to come out. People begin to see the content, what is inside the lid. Shout and believe it. Amen. Amen. Let's pray this last prayer. Say, Oh God, a beggar. Oh God, a beggar. This morning, this morning, as I climb my hands. And I, and I pray, may your power, may your power of entrollment, may, may your power of entrollment set, set me among, among prominent, people, prominent, people, prominent people, prominent people in this country, in this country and, beyond. and beyond. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands and pray. Lakato Shaitaba, power of entrollment. May your power of entrollment set me among prominent men in this country and beyond. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that last prayer. Pray that last prayer. Pray this last prayer. Ya Shadabaya, Lakato Shaita, Rakato Shaita, Abasto Waleba, Reba Do Shaita. Hey, Yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Rakatosha, Lika Laba Laba Laba, Yes Lord, Yes Lord, Shadabayada, Yes Sita Tobriyanda, In the name of Jesus, Breaking your fire, fire, Breaking your fire, fire, Breaking your fire, fire, The God of Pega, Lift up your voice and begin to give thanks to God wherever you are watching us from. Give thanks to God for the answered prayer this morning. Ah, shut up by your car. Your story has changed. Your story has changed. Give thanks to God. Your story has changed. Your location has changed. Give thanks to God. Your name has changed. Give thanks to God. In the name. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. It's been an awesome time in the presence of God this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. This week, expect a testimony. It's a week of testimony. Say amen. amen. It's a week to have an encounter with the supernatural as never before. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The oil upon my father, the prophet, is going to transform your life. Amen. It's going to connect you to greatness. Amen. It's going to connect you to the supernatural. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. amen. Just as I said, Tuesday, that is tomorrow, is the spirit day of my father, the prophet. It's a day that he enters into his office as a prophet, delves deep into the lives and destinies of men and women who have, are, are, are oppressed by the enemy and then brings them out from the dungeon of darkness, demonic darkness. Say amen. amen. Sets them free by the power of God and then they begin to give their testimonies and so tomorrow the first session by 5 a.m the service starts seven we are all seated and then the stirring of the waters takes place say amen amen and then in the evening we'll come back again at 5 p.m for the second session do well to attend if for any reason you are not able to attend the first session make sure the second session you don't miss it and God will meet you at the point of your need. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. And on Friday, just as I said, 
it's going to be a very wonderful time in the presence of God. There is a direction on Friday that you don't have to miss. There is a direction. Three prayer requests. Say amen. amen. Yes, so write three, not more than three. Three. Pay. That is the direction. And then come along with it as the prophet of God leads us in strategic prophetic prayers revelational prayers say amen amen and your life will never be the same and on on, on 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 friday that same friday we have a very powerful song minister all the way from nigeria say amen amen ebuka say amen amen ebuka songs is going to be something else say amen amen in fact friday come with your dancing shoes because in fact what is going to happen here on sunday is going to be uh, 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 un unimaginable say amen. amen you cannot explain it the presence of god will come down say amen, amen. on friday as never before as the heavens open for our father to minister grace to his children amen, amen. and on sunday testimony day testimony sunday day 10th 10th day of the third month on sunday so sunday is going to be full of testimonies full of testimonies come expecting a miracle from god and you will return rejoicing with a testimony say amen amen god bless you so much now two things i will do and then i will bring the program to an end this morning the first is this sacrifice just as i quoted the scripture sacrifice and worship they move together say amen. amen prayer and sacrifice they move together and so as you have prayed this morning like this you need to connect to the altar of god through sacrifice so that the power of god upon the altar will back you throughout the day wherever you go and so um as the momo numbers are displayed on the screen right now do well to pick one of them and start sending your seed wherever you you are connect to the altar connect to the altar and the altar will speak for you say amen amen and the last thing is that if you have not accepted christ as your lord and personal savior where will you spend eternity that is the question that you need to ask yourself where will you spend eternity if christ should come today if you die today where are you going do you have hope of eternity for eternity the bible said that it is appointed unto man once to die and after that judgment so after you have gained the whole world after you have gained everything don't forget about your soul think about your soul god the soul is the most valuable asset the most valuable possession that you have all other things we're going to leave them behind yes all the other things you are going to leave them behind but your soul so if you have not accepted christ as your lord and personal savior i want you to say this simple prayer with uh, with me say it after me say dear lord jesus dear lord jesus i thank you i thank you for coming to die for coming to die for my sins for my sins this morning this morning I repent, I repent of all my sins, all my sins. And, I and I confess them to you. Them to you. I, accept you I accept you as my Lord, as my Lord and personal Savior. And personal Savior. Forgive, me Forgive me all my sins. All my sins. Write, my name Write my name in the book of life. Book of life. Anoint, me Anoint me with your power, with your power and, your and your Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you pray this prayer with me, know that you are born again. Come to Breaking Yoke Ministry International, where you'll be nurtured in the Word of God. You'll be trained, you'll be fed with the undiluted Word of God for you to grow into a full man, full stature, full uh, 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 man in the Lord that will take possession of what belongs to you. May God bless you and may He cause His face to shine upon you. I can't wait to see you in church. Do well to come, and God will meet you at a point of your need. May God bless you this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Keep on watching Pega TV. The more you watch, the more powerful you become. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
beti mini mie Ano kafu nyamie Nesumu jaja Eye wadu mtina Miti asiyo Ujumu januna Abo mi uba iradi Niti nipia mimi wa Sit 